morning, everybody. I, um, I must thank everybody to came here today on my thesis defense. Uh, dear graduation committee, uh, it is a great honor to stand here. My name is uh, Hong Zui, and uh, my topic is solution to improve Vietnam position in the electronics global value chains. Mm. Because of the limited time, uh, I will uh, present to you my uh, uh, we present with a brief information but details uh, uh, to all audience in this room. <coughs> Um, my thesis is divided into uh, five chapters. The first chapter, introduction, and um, secondly, literature review and methodology. Uh, the third chapter, analysis, solution, and recommendation, and my last chapter, conclusion. Uh, in the current dynamic integrated world, the globalization has widely become an indexable strength. Thanks to the development of the information technology, many multinational enterprises have established the basis, fundamental manufacturing process around the world and promote foreign investment. This, this development has previously created a new concept of global value chains. Vietnam has been everything. The most dynamic and fastest growing among Asian regions. Uh, while the GDP has continuously increased in the 10 recent years, uh, one of the greatest milestones of Vietnam that uh, we have ranked the ninth globally in the electronics export in 2018. Uh, so you know the electronics components and products as well are not only manufactured in a single country or region like before, but also related to the electronics manufacturing industry from diverse sources. Understanding how things work in a global scale becoming an uh, important step for every economist. So uh, I uh, just have present my uh, rational of research and research purpose. So what is the question here? We have uh, two key questions. What activity should be an electronic industry develop in the future? and how to effectively participate in the electronic uh, global value chains. The scope of the research is limited in the understanding the global value chains of Vietnam electronic industry, including both enterprise owning investment and domestic firm activity in the period of 2010 to 2018. Um, after researching on the 19 books, article, research from worldwide scholar and Vietnamese scholar, and I have uh, found that uh, there are three main factors behind global value chain, that is uh, cost efficiency, market access, and low international trade score. And uh, what can country, uh, what a country can benefit from the global value chain is uh, strengthening their productivity and growth, or supporting economic development. Uh, as seen uh, on the figure by Sassi, you can see that um, rich countries like United States, Korea, Japan, and Europe uh, tend to engage in a high-end activity in the pre-production stage, uh, while the developing countries like Vietnam, 
Malaysia or China uh, tend to focus on low-end production activity and uh, specifically in the electronic GBC the product activity are included input component sub assembly and final product assembly activity into the most classic evidence there is no consonant So don't be worried because I think that you uh, have made such a good job today because you because uh, you have provided a very comprehensive um, understanding about of the topic and uh, this is such an interesting topic uh, it attracted not only the attention from many people in Vietnam but also people uh, in other countries as well. So now I have a question for you. I think you. you you have done a really nice work today. So here is a question about um, our neighboring countries. It is China. So China is famous for electronic production, but it has also caused a lot of damage to the environment. So what do you think about this when many multinational companies move their factory from China to Vietnam in the future? This is Jim for your question. <laughs> so, um, Vietnam is a new destination for many countries around the world and it has a favorable uh, location, stable politics, and open policy. So, currently, there are many uh, foreign uh, FDI enterprises have. A uh, large factory in uh, Vietnam, such as uh, Samsung, Intel, Canon. Uh, it is in the past. Uh, so when they saw the Vietnam were um, textile, agricultural products, and um, mineral. But uh, from 2015 onwards, the benefits from the export of electronic equipment related goods have Vietnam economy grown more than ever. The electronic industry has contributed greatly to Vietnam economy, but the government will not trade off economic benefits for our political environment. For example, the Formosa or Vietnam disaster have been heavily criticized by uh, authority, and they uh, forced those companies to strictly obey the environmental protection law in um, Vietnam. Although there are some loopholes, Vietnam will say no to factories as cause environmental pollution. That's my question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I think um, you already uh, answered my question and um, you know the material very well, and you have a lot of like special knowledge or like the uh, realistic um, knowledge to provide to us today. So thank you. And now I would like to invite the next student to come on stage and present your presentation.